Well, it's the hard part is when you come in with an agenda or expectations and you're, like I said before, you're trying to force it through this needle's eye and you're missing like the wider context of where the thing could go. And, and I think so much of the fun in life or the meaning in life comes from spontaneity and serendipity and allowing just to, uh, yourself to exist in the moment. And so coming in scripted is, is really in a way being prisoner to your past self and saying your past self is saying, this is how future you is going to act and, and behave. And so in a way you've created like this warden <laughs> of your old identity and what they want for you. And you're not then living for what you in the moment wants. And that's the tricky bit is recognizing that you are only what you are in this instant, that what came before is no longer relevant. doesn't really matter. And what that person wanted, you know, yourself, what you wanted in the past doesn't matter anymore. And I talk about this a lot with, with my girlfriend, Jamie, about the fact that I see, I see myself as this, myself as three people. There's past Anthony, there's current Anthony, and there's future Anthony. And the current Anthony's only job is to make sure he doesn't do anything that future Anthony hates him for. Like, <laughs> as long as I do that, then I'm, I'm good. But current and future Anthony's job is not to live in alignment with past Anthony. Past Anthony's gone and dead. He's gone. 